Yeah, we, we utilize Legility to help us see how quickly. I'm speaking today with Lisa Bowie, SIOP Manager with ChemPoint. Lisa, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell me about ChemPoint. Yes, ChemPoint is a marketing, sales, and chemical distribution uh, company. Our parent company is Univar, and we uh, are located uh, in North America in EMEA, and we are focused on a lot of different industries, um, anywhere from lubricants and plastic and elastomers to nutrition and personal care. So we hit a wide variety of uh, industries and specialize in a lot of different smaller volume customers. What was your initial challenge then in this area? Um, the customer base is highly segmented and we have a lot of low volume customers. So understanding what the customer's needs are and being able to forecast, sometimes when the customers didn't even know, um, we'd have very erratic demand from customers or we would work with government contractors where they don't really know what their lead time is, they, they win a bid and their demand is very erratic. So it was kind of working through a lot of that. Campoint is also um, strategic in launching new product lines on a continual basis. And so being able to quickly onboard new suppliers and product lines in a very short lead time is paramount to our success. Facilitating the SIOP process, SIOP meaning? Sales inventory operations planning. You stick that extra I in there, don't you? Yes. Not a lot of companies do that. I'm wondering, does that, do you, you see it as a distinct thing from SNOP? Yes, it's really drawing visibility to the inventory levels and the working capital initiatives that are needed to be successful. What is the value or the need for separating demand planning from supply planning? Why are you out to do that? Yeah, uh, when we had when we launched uh, the SIOP process, our supply planners were basically demand planning. So when they would go to purchase a SKU, they would do the demand plan while they were uh, working very inefficient. We wanted to redo, increase that efficiency. Um, so separating that out and using Legility to facilitate that um, was important. Um, it sped up the process. We could trust our statistical outputs and forecasts um, and leads us to being able to place a purchase order quicker and faster, which is very key and a value to our ChemPoint business model. So the magic formula of reducing inventory while still maintaining a high level of customer service, that was really the big deal, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so you chose Legility to help you in this effort. Why did you choose that particular provider? I do see the tool as very successful. It has been able, we've been able to forecast very easily and use the system to um, generate those forecasts and really pushing that purchasing forecast forward. Um, what we're able to do is utilize the outputs and our purchasing forecasts, again, to give back to the supplier so that they can trust us and really partner with them um, to make that more successful. All right, so is the system fully in place? Is it up and running? Yes. All right, so what benefits have you seen since it was since that became the case? Yeah, higher, higher efficiency, um, reduced time. Um, we're able to really facilitate that SIOP process. We have marketing, sales, finance, and operations all participating in our SIOP meetings. So we're able to look at one result and forecast to make quick business decisions at the, at the very start of each month um, and be able to project that out up to two years. So we're giving ourselves a really good advantage with our suppliers that they can come to us and, and know what the information that they're getting and that our company is all aligned. What about slow moving or underperforming inventory? That's always kind of the bane of a lot of a company's existence. What were you able to do with that? Yeah, we, we utilized Legility to help us see how quickly our inventory was turning because we aligned our inventory against a um, uh, how many turns it was performing. So anything less than four turns was considered slow moving. And then anything that didn't have, any SKUs that didn't have a forecast against it were considered obsolete. So we were able to utilize the tool to quickly see what those SKUs are and make those key discussion points in our PSYOP meetings. Okay. Customer service levels, I understand, were, remained high. What would they be like? It's been in incremental improvements over the past few years. Um, and really the key player there is inventory availability. So understanding um, when we're not able to service those customers and being able to go back again in those PSYOP meetings and look at where we're, we're missing the customer mark and then also where we are uh, holding extra inventory. Does this have an impact on your ability to launch new product lines? Because I know you have to stay innovative all the time. Does, is there a relationship there? 
Yes, it's, it's, it plays a huge piece in our launch process. Um, in the past, we launched product lines. It could take several months now. On average, we can report back to the business on, on some key launches within that six, six to eight week timeline. Um, we, we have a team, a product line transition team, so a very robust process, but we utilize the capabilities of Legility to kind of understand uh, where, where those forecasts need to be set up, what that customer level is. It is also helpful because Legility allows you to keep historical notes on each SKU, and any, anytime you have transitions of employees, you can utilize what happened there. So for example, when we had a, a launch, our, one of our most recent launches, the supplier didn't give us a lot of past historical sales. They were consolidating their channel. And so they couldn't get from the previous channels any sales history. So we were very dependent just on their, their, their sales data. And so then we have to utilize that and really understand where those end customers are gonna be. What is next on your to-do list? What challenges do you face in the future that yet to be addressed? Yeah, there, there's a lot of opportunity this year. We're going to focus on the Legility upgrade. Um, that's going to be integral um, for helping us with some of our vendor minimum plans. Um, on the demand side, we really want to feed our forecasts back to the sellers more readily through the CRM system. And additionally, on the supply um, planning side, we're going to focus on um, utilizing more the, the inventory alerts that Legility has um, in the system and some of the preset inventory alerts. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us to talk about ChemPoint's journey in the area of the PSYOP process. And thank you, uh, thank you once again. We appreciate your being with us. Thank you for having me. I've been speaking with Lisa Bowie of ChemPoint. Thank you very much for watching.